awesome day out there. No, I didn't today. Nope. Huh? I had a few reports of rattlesnakes. Yeah, I saw one on Green Mountain yesterday. These are all the rattlesnakes, correct? Uh, this one's the rattlesnake, but this one's the bull snake. Oh, you know, I get them confused a lot then. Well, that's why we're out here. <laughs> so that's good. So rattlesnakes in Jefferson County are usually in about two and a half to three, three, three feet long. Uh -huh. so the bull snake is more like five feet long. Okay. And you'll see both on, on Green Mountain as well. And, you know, the, the shape of their head and their eyes are different, but that means you have to get pretty close. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get that close. Sure. No, if they're alive, no. And the rattle, of course, he sometimes they're missing the rattle or parts of it fell off as this guys did. But you can't always see their tail because maybe it's in vegetation. Does so the, the bull snake ever coil up like this one? He does, and he makes a sound that's like a rattle. Oh, so maybe I've mistaken some bull snakes for rattlesnakes. It's possible in the future, next time you see a snake and you're not sure, look for these white highlights. Uh huh. So the rattlesnake has it about two thirds of his body length. The bull snake doesn't have them. Okay. So he just has the brown spots. But boy, they're similar anyway, aren't they? They boy, are. You really have to know what you're talking about. But if once you see that, like once I learned that, and you can step back and you're like, oh yeah, I can see the white highlights and I can see he doesn't have them. Because you can even, these are all different pictures of bull snakes and uh -huh. different morph and colors. And these are all different prairie rattlesnakes. So, you know, they can be green, they can be more brown. And this we have those all here. And the prairie rattlesnakes? Yeah, so that's the rattlesnake we have. Do we have any of these other colors here? Yeah. Okay. They'll be anywhere. Like, I've seen the green one down in Hildebrand. I don't know if you've ever read the Hildebrand. No. So that's another park with a lot of rattlesnakes, like down near South Valley and Deer Creek. Uh -huh. And I've seen them green there. I've seen them more like this. I've seen them a little more brown. I've never seen them so black, but they could be. Wow. Yeah, I just try to avoid them. That's Give them their their space and let them go. That is the best thing to do. In fact, is it, what's the it? best way to get them off the trail if they're on the trail and they're not moving? Uh, give them space. That's the best. Just thing wait. To just yeah. wait it out. If you throw I've seen people try to throw rocks and sticks and, and stuff. I just try to wait, but I, I don't know what the best answer is. Well, then you have the you have the best answer because if you try to throw things in on it, they're going to coil longer. They're going to be more. That's defensive. what I've noticed when they did that. I'm like, you're just wasting. Yeah. You know, well. Yeah. I, I am taking higher risks, right? Because it's probably pissed off now. Now it's agitated. You're right. And it's not going to, it's going to take it longer because it can't move when it's coiled. It can strike, but it can't slither off the trail. Right. And if it's stretched out, it can't strike. So it's not going to stretch out when it's feeling defensive when people are throwing things at it. Um, yeah. So the best thing is to do is just give it space and it can only strength, strike a portion of its body length. So, and they're not five feet long, but I still like to give them at least five feet. Oh, I and do. Yeah, I yeah. probably give them more than that, 10 foot at least. <laughs> um, and you know what? The more space you give them, the quicker they're going to move. As away. long as I don't get surprised or they get, you get surprised by each other. Right, which could happen. I was riding my bike once and I was, it was a concrete trail coming out of Chatfield and from a distance, but I was like, I don't have enough time to stop. If I stop, I might stop right on the snake. And right. I was like, pretty sure from this distance that's a rattlesnake and sure enough i was like i'm just gonna pedal faster but he was stretched out did you bunny it bunny hop it over it no i didn't but yeah. the trail probably of course you know you think the snake is so big but i had i had about this much space and he was stretched out i'm like so he can't he can't strike so i just went really fast and then i stopped you know past him and i looked i was like okay he's definitely a rattlesnake but he didn't coil up so I must have just been by far enough away that I didn't irritate Didn't him. freak him out? Yeah. How I about freak out. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> babies are about that long. I've seen, I saw a whole family of babies on Green Mountain years ago. I'm guessing about that long, about a foot. They're just as deadly, right? Just as poisonous? Yes. A lot of people think they're worse. They're not worse. It's a different toxin. So when they're, when they're juveniles, it's a neurotoxin. When they're adults, it's a... I forget the term, but it's not a neurotoxin. <laughs> so it just affects your system differently, but at the same level, yeah. They, same they can, same it problem. It depends on how much, it depends on the person and how much venom you get. They don't always inject venom. So if they don't inject venom, you might need an antibiotic in case you have an infection. What do you do if you get bit? How long do you got to get out of there? You have a really long time, unless you have an anaphylactic or allergic reaction. So if something in the snake you know, usually if an allergic reaction, it's the second time it's deadly, whether it's a bee sting, whether food or whatever. So if you've never been bitten by a snake, but a lot of times I think it's not so much the venom, it's something else in the snake that you could be allergic to. So as long as, which is very rare for anyone to die from a rattlesnake. So 
if you're a normal person that doesn't have pain. how long do you usually have to get to the hospital a really long time like, like how long no, like an hour or two hours no more than that you don't there's not i've never heard a time definitive time that's why i say a really long time so most of the time so the best thing to do is call on your cell phone and say i've been bitten by a snake know exactly where you are if you're like i'm on the inner the upper intersection of turkey trot and castle trail you know this far from the trailhead it's best to get me from the east lot the better description the quicker we get to you the less pain you will be in um, because what we're going to do is we're going to carry you out. You know, somebody, will, if you're on your bike, somebody else will carry your bike out and we'll carry you out so you don't have blood and venom circulating through your system. And once in a while, we've had people helicopter for the most part, no, because the hospitals are so close. The medics and the fire department, they call beforehand, but they know what hospitals normally stock anti-venom and will take you to one of those hospitals like St. Anthony's or something like that. St. Anthony has, has some, that's pretty normally. close. But yeah. they will call. The medics will call and confirm that they have it, and then their ERs are open, which just means. Do you uh, do you create a bigger problem for yourself if you continue down the mountain? If you continue pedaling or moving? Yes. Yes. So you will circulate the venom quicker to your heart, and you don't want to do that. So the best thing to do is stop where you are, well, a little far away from the snake. <laughs> right. You know, if there's a shady spot 10 feet away, you can go sit in the shade or something and call and we will carry you out. And then when the medics come, if they can give you some sort of pain meds or whatever like that, like they can start you on an IV right away where, so, and then we'll carry you out. And, and it's, it's much better that way to do nothing but that. And, you know, don't try to suck out the venom or tourniquet or any of those things could cause harm. They can I have your permission to put the video on that we just did about rattlesnakes? Yes. Thank you so much. And you're with Jefferson County Open Space? Yes. What's your name? Maria. Maria, thank you so much, Maria. I appreciate your time today. You're welcome. Thank you.